This presentation will guide you through the programming steps of the Dexter Stack Dryer Control. Dexter Laundry recommends that all service and troubleshooting be done by a qualified service person. Live voltage is present inside of every Dexter machine. Extreme caution should be used if you decide to troubleshoot your equipment. Dexter Laundry always recommends that you disconnect power to your washer or dryer before attempting any service. Warning! Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. To program the stack dryer control, you will need only the Dexter 6324 service key. Unlock the control using the Dexter 6324 service key and slide out the control tray. Locate the program button labeled S1. This will be found on the inside front right of the control tray. If both loading doors are closed, pressing the program button will activate both pockets for a five minute service cycle. Press the program button again to exit the service cycle. Opening both loading doors and pressing the program button activates the 18 step programming section. The lower display will show the current step number. The upper display will show the value of this step. Pressing the lower hot high button will advance through each of the 18 steps. For example, setting the cycle time per right coin is at step 11. Press the lower hot switch until the lower display shows 11. Once at the desired step number, pressing the lower start button will decrease the value. Pressing the upper start switch will increase the value. Once the desired value has been reached, advance through the remaining cycle steps to exit. We will now detail each step number with its description. Start by pressing the program switch and then lock the control back into place. Step 00 is the lower motor hour meter. This is the total length of time the lower tumbler has operated. Step 01 is the upper motor hour meter. This is the total length of time the upper tumbler has operated. Step 02 is the left coin audit. This is the total number of coins that have triggered the left coin inputs. Step 03 is the right coin audit. This is the total number of coins that have triggered the right coin inputs. Step 04 is the hot or high temperature setting. The default setting is 175 degrees Fahrenheit and can be adjusted in 5 degree increments. The hot temperature setting can be adjusted from 150 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 to 87 degrees Celsius. Step 05 is the medium temperature setting. The default setting is 150 degrees Fahrenheit and can be adjusted in 5 degree increments. The medium temperature setting can be adjusted from 120 degrees to 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 to 75 degrees Celsius. Step 06 is the warm or low temperature setting. The default setting is 125 degrees Fahrenheit it can be adjusted in 5 degree increments. The warm temperature setting can be adjusted from 110 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 to 63 degrees Celsius. Step 07 is the value of the left coin input. Though seldom used, the left coin input can be used with a dual coin acceptor. The default value is 10 cents and can be adjusted in 1 cent increments. Step 08 is the value for the right coin input. The right coin input is the standard coin input on the stack dryers. The default value is 25 cents and can be adjusted in 1 cent increments. Step 09 is the vend price for the dryer to be activated and can be modified up or down by using the upper and lower start switch. If the vend price is lowered to 0.00, .00 the dryer will free vend when the start button is pressed. Step 10 is the time added for each left coin input. While the left coin input is seldom used, the default time given is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Step 11 is the time added for each right coin input. This is the most common parameter to be changed. This time per coin can be lowered by pressing the lower start button, or the value can be raised by pressing the upper start button. 
The default time is 8 minutes. Step 12 is the time given when FreeVend is set up in Step 09. Pressing the lower or upper start button will FreeVend for the time that is set. If the FreeVend is not set under Step 09, this step will not be used. Step 13 is the hot high cycle cooldown time. The default setting is 2 minutes. For Step 13, Step 14, and Step 15, this cooldown time will come at the end of the total time that was vended. Step 14 is the medium cycle cooldown time. The default setting is 2 minutes. Step 15 is the warm, low cycle cooldown time. The default setting is 2 minutes. Step 16 is where the user can select the temperature scale. The temperature scale can change from the default of Fahrenheit to Celsius. Step 17 allows the user to select at the decimal point and the pricing will be displayed. The factory default is on. Step 18 allows the user to select if the time countdown will display the seconds or just the minutes on the display. The factory default is off. Once the control is set, there are several ways of exiting the program. The user can press the lower hot switch past the step 18. The user can close both lower and upper dryer doors. Or the user can press the program button on the back of the control. The stacked dryer is now programmed and ready for use.